few names within the Acura brand that hold a whole lot of weight. Integra is one of them. The iconic sports car is back, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Before we get too far along, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe to the Moto1 YouTube channel and help us grow. You can also follow us on social media using the handle at Moto1.com. Let's check out the Integra. Sometimes an automaker will tell us details ahead of time. They'll share pictures with the car just so we can prepare for a debut like this, but that wasn't the case this time around. Acura played this extremely close to the chest, and this is a prototype vehicle, so we're gonna tell you everything we know, which frankly isn't that much. So walk with me right now, and basically let's pick the design apart, and we'll tell you the few things we do know about the powertrain. The Integra is going to be the new gateway vehicle to the Acura brand. They're trying to go out of their way and court a whole new generation of enthusiasts. We know the car is going to start at about $30,000. We can maybe assume on the north side of 30 grand. And the pricing is somewhat in line with the Honda Civic Si, which this car shares a ton in common with. In fact, as we go toward the design, this is a liftback car, and so many people have been sort of clamoring for a Honda Civic Si hatch. Well, this is it. So right away, you can tell that this is an Acura product. There's a ton of DNA shared with the Integra, things like the TLX, the MDX. Uh, right here, we have a frameless Pentagon grille. They just put that on the new facelifted RDX as well, and that's gonna be present on Acura products going forward. This is a huge calling card for the brand. Their chicane LED running light, uh, and then some powerful jewel LEDs right below it. I have to say the face is somewhat subdued. Um, I would assume at some point they're gonna do an A-spec styling pack on this car. Of course, they didn't confirm that tonight, but that would do it pretty well. This one's done in black and it kind of matches the black roof. The two-tone contrast works nicely on this. Alongside of the car, there's a really can't miss it if you tried Integra decal on the side of it. They didn't say whether or not that would make production as an option, but you know what? If enthusiasts want it, they'll probably take a shot at it. We have some nice black, uh, matte black Acura wheels on it too. Kind of reminds me of the new NSX Type S, the way they did that wheel design, and then some nice loud yellow brake calipers. Speaking of yellow, this car wears Indy yellow, which is of course a heritage color. It's available on the NSX. It pays homage to Phoenix yellow, which was famous in the old Integra Type R. If there was a part of the car that's controversial, it's probably the rear three quarter. We've seen spy shots of this car. People were commenting on the roof line and that it does sit pretty high up. This is uh, a lift back shape and it does look more elegant than the Civic hatch. I'll give it that. Some people probably wanted a two door. Some people probably wanted it to look a bit different than this. But think of what they had to pull from in keeping this closely related to the Civic Si and honestly keeping the pricing where it's at. This has to appeal to people that can afford this car. So for around 30 grand, shaping it similar to a Civic Si probably isn't the worst thing. The tail light. That's probably my favorite detail on the car as I'm looking at it. They're somewhat TLX-y, but they have these really neat details. If you come close to see this, they're these kind of sequential lights that get bigger as the light goes on. And then of course, the Integra badge, which is off to the right, which is uh, very heritage-y, if that's a word, but I'm digging it. They, they did enough to keep the enthusiasts excited with these throwback calls that although it's an all new car and all new platform for Integra, they kept those enthusiasts in mind and I like that. So like I said, this is a prototype vehicle, which means there's still a lot that we have to learn about this car. We do know that it's going to have a turbocharged 1.5 liter four cylinder engine. Of course, it's gonna be the engine that's also in the Honda Civic Si. Power, we don't know just yet. We can assume somewhere around 200 horsepower. We do know that this is going to have a standard six-speed manual transmission. Automatic, they didn't confirm that tonight. There's speculation that it could be a CVT. We could get a true automatic transmission. That's for us to learn later down the line. The production Integra will go on sale next year. To find out everything we do know in story form, head over to motor1.com or just hit the link in the description. Thanks for watching.